Hello geometry students. We are going to go over section 1-5 angle relationships. So we're still talking about angles. We can identify and use pairs of angles, special pairs actually, and identify perpendicular lines. So we have more vocab. Woo! -hoo. Lots more vocab here. So I wrote the words and I have visuals for you as well. So feel free to pause the video at this time and write down the words. I'm going to go ahead and start um, showing you some visuals. So adjacent angles, two angles in the same plane that have the same vertex and side and no common interior points. So here's what some adjacent angles look like. So they have the same, they share the same vertex and the same side. Again, pause the video whenever you need to, to write these down and draw these visuals. The next one, a linear pair is a pair of adjacent angles with non-common sides that are opposite rays. So the thing you need to know about with a linear pair is that a linear pair always makes this straight line, this opposite ray here. So it's always going to be straight which means it's always going to be 180 degrees. So a linear pair will always make 180. Whereas an adjacent angle, adjacent angles, they don't have to make 180, but a linear pair has to make 180 degrees. That's my little degree mark there. All right. Again, pause the video whenever you need to. The next one, vertical angles. Two non-adjacent angles formed by two intersecting lines. So look here, we have two intersecting lines. So one and two are vertical angles, angle one and angle two, and angle three and angle four are vertical angles. Now the cool thing about vertical angles is they're always congruent to one another. So they're always congruent. So angle one is congruent to angle two and angle three is congruent to angle four. And I must say, vertical angles are my favorite type of angles. I don't know why, I just like them. Pause the video when needed. We're gonna move on to some more vocabulary. Complementary angles, we talked about um, the complements of one of um, angles um, in the last video. Two angles, and there's some of 90. So sum means addition. So when these two angles are added together or put together they make that 90 degree mark. Or A and B are um, complementary because 65 plus 25 is 90. Trekker, stop. Sorry, that's my dog. Uh, okay, supplementary. Again, pause the video when needed. Supplementary, two angles, measures with a sum of 180, so they add up to 180. So notice that when we put them together, like so, we have 180 here, they make a straight line, just like the linear pair. So linear pair um, is 180, so a linear pair would also be supplementary. And they add up to 180 as well. And our last vocabulary word, is perpendicular segments or rays. Um, perpendicular means line segments or rays that form a right angle. So when they intersect, they're going to make a right angle. And the only way you know that is if it's given to you, if it says it in the directions, or if it makes this little box here, if that little box is there. You can't assume that they're perpendicular just because it looks like it. it has to be given, it has to have this little box here. Again, pause the video when needed. On the next slide, we're going to do some examples. So we're going to find x and y so that PR and SQ are perpendicular. So we have PR and SQ are perpendicular. So we want them to be perpendicular. We want them to be 90 degrees. So here's PR and here's SQ. So we want their intersection to be 90 degrees. So how can we do this? Well, we want to solve for y. So remember, perpendicular means 90 degrees. So for y, 
minus 2 equals 90. That's how we can solve for y. So we'd add 2 to both sides. We'd have 4y equals 92. We divide by 4 on both sides. And so y is going to equal 23. Now these two angles together are complementary. They have to equal 90. Um, so how can we do that? Well, we can add them together. And we could have 2x plus 5x plus 6 equals 90. So we add them together or combine like terms, CLT. 2x plus 5x is 7x plus 6 equals 90. Subtract 6. So 7x equals 84. We're going to divide by 7, and x equals 12. And we had to find x and y, and we did. y is 23, x is 12. So for next class, I want you to see if you can figure out what the two angles are. So you need to solve for x, and then you need to plug back in to, to find the angles. So the measures of two complementary angles are 7x, plus 17 and 3x minus 20. Find the measures of the angle. So that's all I have for you. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you in class. Bye bye.